Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, red squirrels can be hard to spot. Volunteers have been placing cameras in the woods to help scientists establish where they're living. It's part of a project that is uh, looking at the distribution of red and grey squirrels in County Fermanagh um, with the aim of helping conserve the red squirrel and manage the grey squirrel. And how unusual is it to try and capture squirrels on camera? Uh, yeah, very unusual. Um, you don't get many people doing it. Uh, normally camera traps are used to record um, the presence of more enigmatic species like uh, tigers or leopards or things like that. So we decided to try it for um, squirrels. But when they looked at the footage, they found almost twice as many pictures of something even more elusive and rare, the pine marten. With a reputation for being vicious killers of hens and chickens, pine martens are now thought to number just a few thousand. The cameras at Crom even captured a pine martin watching an Irish hare race by. Yeah, that was an unexpected uh, surprise, but it's also a good one because uh, the pine martin is also a protected species in Northern Ireland, so the more information we can get on them, the better. And because you've had these pine martins photobombing the, the squirrel project, have you had to uh, change the way you're going to carry out the study? Uh, no, it's made us um, think that it might be a better method to uh, monitor pine martins than red squirrels, but um, the project's ongoing, we're going to persevere and hopefully we'll pick up more red squirrel records from across the county, but the information, as I say, we get on pine martins is very useful, so we'll be using that as well. Researchers will continue to record sightings of red squirrels and pine martins to try and ensure their survival. Julian Fowler, BBC Newsline, at the Crom Estate.